Batangas. Located 110 kilometers southeast of the capital city of Manila in the Philippines and with a population of some 2.6 million. Spanning 3,166 kilometers of coastline, the province consists of 34 cities and municipalities, of which 14 are coastal municipalities and one coastal city. Its major bays are Batangas Bay, Balayan and adjacent bays, Tayabas and adjacent bays. Due to its sandy beaches and beautiful coral reefs, major economic activities in Balayan and Tayabas Bays include fishing and tourism activities like diving, snorkeling, and swimming. Meanwhile, Batangas Bay is dominated by industrial, commercial, and shipping activities. Batangas City has the second largest international seaport in the Philippines, and it hosts the majority of the large industries in the province. To be able to achieve development in Batangas, we are actually encouraging investors to invest in our province. However, we understand that any kind of development will have impact in the environment. Given the environmental challenges, a water quality monitoring program was a necessary component for the introduction of Integrated Coastal Management, or ICM, in Batangas. PEMSI, then the GEF, UNDP IMO Regional Program for the Prevention and Management of Marine Pollution in the East Asian Seas selected Batangas as one of the demonstration sites for ICM implementation to promote the sustainable development of coastal and marine areas. In 1994, the Batangas ICM program was established. Along with the creation of the Provincial Government, Environment, and Natural Resources Office, or PGNRO, in 1995, the Blueprint for the Batangas Environment Laboratory, or BEL, came into fruition. After the creation of the PGNRO on 1995, we realized that we don't have this capability to monitor spatial and temporal changes in the environment. So, it's a good thing that the PEMC initiated the establishment of the Batangas Marine Environment Laboratory, where PEMC provided equipment for basic water quality parameters, while the Batangas Provincial Government, through its then Governor Hermelando A. Mandanas, provided a small building to house this laboratory. PGNRO Batangas Environment Laboratory is the Philippines' first environmental monitoring laboratory operated by a local government. In 2004, the strong commitment of the provincial government of Batangas in strengthening and sustaining the operations of the Bell was shown through the provision of new and upgraded facilities. From then on, we continue to develop the laboratory and access funding like the Department of Energy and National Power Corporation through Energy Regulation 1-94A, where we were able to complete the physical chemical parameters and uh, trace metal and also this air ambient water quality parameters. In 2009, Bell was granted its first recognition by the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, Environmental Management Bureau. If we have this recognition, we will have this authority to analyze environmental samples for compliance monitoring and for the conduct of environmental impact assessment study. Aside from that, we can now accept from private customers. In 2014, Bell was the first and only local government-operated environment lab 
to be granted accreditation for PNS ISO IEC 17025-2005. Bell also has 22 out of 28 recognized parameters for both air and water based on the lab's latest recognition certificate issued on April 2018. Bell's impact on the province includes increased awareness on the status of bays and river pollution within Batangas, provision of technical assistance to various stakeholders, and helping enforce the Philippine Clean Water Act through effluent quality monitoring. And by then, we saw also the need for further improving the laboratory wherein we will be able to analyze volatile organic compounds and other air quality parameters. So you can see from a simple laboratory, we were able to move from a more sophisticated laboratory. Bell's clients are also keen to share the benefits of using the services of the laboratory. Ever since 2013, that was when I joined uh, LGU, PG and Robel is there to help us with our environment-related concerns, from water quality monitoring of our MPA sites, monitoring of Lian Paliko River watershed, groundwater contaminated with slops, to illegal discharge of wastewater from industries. Bell provided us with data from monitoring activities. Bell is one innovation that our provincial government has done through the years to effectively manage the environment. To sustain its operations, Bell generates its revenue by providing its services to various users and clients. The Batangas Environment Laboratory's evolution over the past two decades has shown that environmental monitoring improves governance and facilitates the crafting of appropriate policy and management interventions. And this drives the Batangas government to even reinforce harder its commitment to Bell's purpose by involving everyone the province of Batangas can be a progressive society without compromising the health of our environment. It's everyone's responsibility to nurture and protect our country's natural resources.